Big day today at the cafe. The plumbers are here. They're installing all of the toilets and the sinks, and they're also going to be making all of the final connections for appliance related things yep. in both the kitchen and the bar. Steven is here. He is buttoning up the merchandise shelf, and we need to get all of those appliances, that entire sea of boxes and stainless steel kitchen appliance stuff. Into their respective locations. This would fit in your house. <laughs> As a regular dishwasher, because this is the same size as a standard house dishwasher, which takes an hour and a half to wash. This thing, open it up, you throw it in there, it's 240 volts, not 120 volts like a standard house dishwasher. Put it in, 90 seconds. Done. Yeah. 90. You are getting a little slow, Josh. I think we could use an upgrade on the dishwashing this day. Okay. That's not my job. <laughs> <laughs> the tall order, we're almost done. Um, you, you all know me by now. I'm gonna say that every single video we're almost <laughs> done, which we are, which is great news. We're only about a week and a half out from the interior being completely finished. Hopefully. And then we just need to <laughs> cross off our health inspection yes. and the fire marshal. Yes. Fingers crossed. We're almost there, guys. So outside the cafe, all we have really left to do with the service is drop the 600s down to tie into the line side of the meter. I gotta drive a couple ground rods and uh, bond the building steel on the inside and we're done finito ready for inspection so the hardest part is gonna be me on that ladder all the way up there pushing down some 600s copper too so it's gonna be a little bit heavy a little bit dangerous i'm gonna get a little bit squirrely aaron's getting nervous but i'm not nervous we're good <laughs> <laughs> that yellow quarter inch rope down there. I'm going to drop it down this pipe and we're going to go ahead and attach it and pull that wire through. It's through. All right, pull it. Uh, 25 feet of 600 copper. And it's a little bit heavy. So I'm going to go up there one at a time. We'll attach this on the end of the wire, I'm gonna carry the wire up. Aaron's gonna come from the top part, pull it down, and we're just gonna pull in one leg at a time. Um, the first leg will pull by itself, and we'll see how comfortable I am up there with two, and the next two, to slide in there. It's a uh, simple wire, so it's gonna slide fairly easy. We just gotta be careful, because once we start getting a few feet in there, and all that weight Aaron pulling, that's gonna wanna fall straight down the pipe and come back out the other side, so. We gotta be careful. Uh -oh. yeah. you're there, you're there. That was the easy part. I just wanna see how it's gonna go down with that one wire because I'm pretty high in the air. That cable's very heavy. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, double the weight. I'm gonna get them to see here. You gotta get them to see. I can't. I gotta get there all three wires. All three at the same time. It's not safe enough for me to do it. Three at a time. Okay. I'm gonna slide it. Okay. That's a fail. <sighs> the issue we're having is I can't get those wires down one time. I knew it was gonna struggle. It ain't gonna happen. I need to get a lift up here and do everything on a lift with three 600 coppers all at the same time and bring it down. I can't do it on an extension ladder with all that weight. It's just not safe and it's not feasible. I'm trying to do it one at a time and it's, it's a complete and utter fail. So I got to run left, put the basket up in the air and push the entire thing down with a rope, pulling it down and we're, we're done. Whoop da. No good. So real quick, before things get any crazier in here, let me show you guys around and catch you up on all the changes that have been made just over the past couple of days. The bar has been painted a really beautiful earthy green color. The existing concrete floors have been painted a dark gray. We chose to leave the floors as they were and just paint them. We didn't wanna put any new material down because we did want to maintain kind of like the industrial feel of this original old building, but they turned out perfect and they really complement the bar and the 
beautiful butcher block countertops. All the stainless steel is installed against the wall around all of the cooking equipment. And we have the rubber trim installed along the floor in the kitchen area so that it is easily wipeable. So it is officially time for us to move all of the appliances into their permanent location. It's a big day for us. This is moving day at the cafe. <laughs> I almost thought we would never get here, but we did. And I actually think this is one of our projects that has moved along quicker than a lot of the other things that we've done. Yeah, this place was, was in bad shape too. But I think it looks absolutely amazing. It's all come together perfectly. Yes. It looks great. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited about it. The cool thing about it is it's different than a chapter house, mm -hmm. different than our A-frame. So everything's a little bit different. We've got our own little, I guess, quirky look to it, but it all came together. We went for the industrial, old world style, and uh, that's what we got. <laughs> it's been really fun to be able to just play with different designs at yeah. all the different places that we have going on. It's yeah. been very cool. So the plan is we're gonna start with the big boys that are going to be out in like the area that the customers are gonna have access yep. to. We wanna get those out of the way and yeah. then we can start moving into the kitchen. I'll free some space up, get the big stuff out of the way and then everything goes in. Today's the day. Let's do it. I barely made it through. That's gonna peel off. That barely made it through. Yeah, I did barely make it through. Look at that. It got smacked right there. It's good. It's good, right? It survived. It survived. It'll do. Yes. So the bakery display case is going to be the first thing that we try to move. We do have this little guy. So hopefully that helps. So this honker does not have wheels. He has little feet and he's on the pallet. So we're gonna have to get him off of the pallet. Three, two, one up. There he goes. And then shimmy him back into place and just any like minor damage and scratching that the paint on the floor sustains, we can fix later. No big deal. Three paints. Love that we will repaint. The important thing is we successfully got that guy in his place. We're gonna have a lot of this. That's okay. Yeah, we'll repaint, we'll sand and repaint. Not a big deal, but we're good. Looks good. Let's go ahead and take that ground go case. We'll slide up, we'll take it, we'll push it in and have it slammed tight to that brick wall. So the big glass bakery case is actually refrigerated. So that's gonna be any bakery items that need to be refrigerated. In this corner, we're probably gonna have a rack with shelves for snacks, chips, and then this big guy is the grab and go case. Yeah, we'll have uh, house made salads, uh, sandwiches, drinks, everything that made the back gets put in here that needs to be cold. And that guy right there is not going to stay that way. It's factory made, it's not. <laughs> Not impressed. So we're gonna change this out. Yeah, it'll probably say wild roots, some some sort of yeah. thing like that. We'll block that. Hang on to the moment, it's turning to memory. So this entire area back here at the bar is going to be the entire barista section, the espresso machine, which is getting installed in just a couple of days, and then everything for the entire bar area. That's why you just saw us put in a little refrigerator for all the varieties of milk and whatnot. Also an ice maker. We have a little sink right here, thanks to D&D &D Plumbing. Then everything turned key, so. Yes, everything. Yep. And we have, like there's so many sinks in this place. Yeah. 
It's, uh, it's amazing how many sinks you need in a restaurant. I had no There's idea. like nine sinks. <laughs> Nothing can be together. <laughs> Everything has to be separate. So with that said, we are done in the main area and we are ready to move back into the kitchen, get all of the big daddies put in there. So this requires socket wrenches to complete the task. And as you guys know, I don't carry socket wrenches. I carry a set of channel locks <laughs> and it's just too tight a fit for uh, channel locks. So we're screwed. So. I didn't come back for that. So we're gonna put it up right inside the place, we'll come back, bring socket wrenches, and install it. So that's the, I guess the cook line, you could say. Uh, the fryer needs to get raised up. Once I bring my tools, we'll go ahead and raise that up to the same elevation as the top of the cooktop. And the oven is actually sitting on top of a dolly right now. We wheeled it in. It's gonna get legs to stand it up higher, and we're gonna double stack the oven, another oven on top of that. It's all bolted together. That's the entire cook line. Just like that. We're trying to get everything cleaned up out of the, I guess the dining and bar area, the special machine comes tomorrow. So we want to get everything cleaned out of there, get everything into its respective location. I'll come back through there, squeeze back there, get devices installed and start punching things out. But we are right there. Holy moly, where the heck are we going to put that thing? We have a spot for it. That's why I call it mixer. <laughs> On today's sketchy assignment, we try to pull a couple hundred pounds of wire from very high up all the way down here in a basket with a little tiny piece of rope. Oh, work, we're fine. This rope's only weighed for a couple hundred pounds, but. I don't believe that this is ram tested or chuck approved. <laughs> it definitely is. <laughs> um, the sketchy thing is getting that lift next to that line, that's all. It's not a high voltage power line, so I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so round two. We're gonna take all three of these legs. We're gonna go ahead and tie and make a head up, make it nice and neat and small. So we're gonna strip the insulation, make a tie wire basket on it, tie it to a rope, yank it on in, it should fit. So we're maxed out on the pipe. We're allowed three 600s into a three inch pipe, and that's what we got. So we're maxed out. It's gonna be tight, but I got a lift. I got Aaron with the guns. She's gonna <laughs> yank, I'm gonna push. Wish us luck. We might need it. We'll see. We might need to get somebody else on there too. We'll see. Are you ready for this? I think so. Right. How heavy is that going to be? Uh, probably 75 pounds per leg, roughly, so do the math. So I'm going to unhook all of this from right here. All right. So due to Aaron's poor performance on both the video, camera, and Yes, we got, we got to pull down. The camera ran, ran, cut out. Yeah, ran out of space on the record. <laughs> but it's down, Stephen came out. I couldn't pick it up, so he got in the landing and he started picking his end up and I was getting it in. We went up a little bit higher and it got so tight going down to the 45, Aaron couldn't do it because not strong enough. So we got Caleb, he's a plumber here, he's cock diesel. He got in that <laughs> rope and started yanking that thing in and we got it down. So thank goodness. We got it in. We need a lift. We tried with the tension line yesterday, it's it no, it no good. Yeah. So we need a lift. That thing was a bear getting down, but we got it in. <sighs> so I need to cut it and tie it in. We're, we're good. Ready for inspection. Woo! So next thing we gotta do is pull that basket down just a little bit more to expose everything. Cut the duct tape off, snip all the tie wire, get everything separated, snip it, and the hard part is to bend that wire and put them in the lugs. The reason why it's gonna be hard is because it's such a little space right there and it's 600 copper and it's tough to bend and maneuver. So we'll work it, we'll get it in, but it's gonna be a little tricky. Oh, got it. Oh. Man, huge win. We're tied in, weather heads on top, ready for inspection and for power company to come here and make the connections and we're gonna have power. Finally. Finally. <laughs> all it took is me getting over here to do the work. It's just, 
My schedule is kind of messed up. <laughs> we got a few things going on. Uh, a couple things. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> nice little pair, huh? Got a bunch of pears. Look at the size of these pears. <laughs> They're just falling off. They're ready, ready to get put on the table and eat in about a week, hopefully. I'm so excited. Today's a good day. It's inspection day. The inspector's gonna come check everything out. We're going from a 200 amp service to a 400 amp service. We actually moved locations of the existing panel to a new location here. And we've been without permanent power for a few months now. We've been on temporary power. But where we left off last was uh, getting all the 600s down to the meter itself. Once that got completed, we went through, drove the brown rods, bonded the building steel, and now we're ready for the inspector. So he's gonna come here today. He's gonna verify that we're actually bonded out in the disconnect of the neutrals in the ground. He's gonna verify since it's bonded out there, it's not bonded inside of here. He's gonna verify that the neutral is isolated from the grounds on both panels at the building steel bond, and he's looking to see if everything is sized properly with the wire. And we're done. We're ready to go. This will pass without any issues. 600 amp copper, 600 copper went down to four aught aluminum parallel. Parallel. Yep. Good. Everything's bonded. This is my ground right here. My ground rods. I have two ground rods. I did it yesterday. Okay. Um, this right here actually comes up, goes in, goes into the building and attaches the building steel. Very nice. Yep. Good on you. And I'm not trying to be a smart aleck. Yep. But are these approved for doubles? Yes. If you look okay. at them, if you look at them right there, it says uh, yep. two I'm three hundreds. I'm not down you. Yep. I just like to clarify. Yeah, man. Very good. Job well done. And then two panels inside, two, yes, sir. two separate locations. Yep. Let's take a look. Neutrals isolated. We took the binding screws out, so the neutrals and the grounds are completely isolated. Understand. Very good, sir. We'll put a sticker on the meter socket and do some paperwork. And yeah, man. We'll be done. Easy. That's it. We passed our inspection. We're officially official with this document here, obviously. Uh, next step, we're waiting for the power company to come through, turn power on, and the big, huge milestone in my eyes is the espresso machine is going to be here the next day or so. And once that's installed, I'm going to be caffeinated, baby. I'm good to go. <laughs>